I had this one arrive as well. There's no end pieces on the box, so it's uh, nearly inside the polystyrene. But uh, there we go. Number 37130. Okay. That's uh, a Type 37. I still see these occasionally at night in Lowestoft. Quite a nice little model that. It's H22. Another pristine one. Okay, really well looked after. Now this particular one, for this number and that, was only available three years. In the catalogues 1977, 1978, 1979. So it doesn't actually fit my um, train set at all. For two reasons. First off, all right, it's diesel, isn't it? Secondly, it's the wrong year. So here we go, it's the R751 Coco, the clown. Type 3 C, is that an L or an I? C137 diesel electric locomotive. An extremely powerful class that is normally used on heavy freight or express passenger duties. Fitted with magnet adhesion and twin bogey power collectors. Manufactured by English Electric. There we go, that's people who manufactured the uh, Canberra Bomber and Lightning Fighter. So English Electric at this time are like forefront of of british engineering so look at that it's nice isn't it so yeah so there's not a massive amount of information in that one okay let's have a look at the 78 catalog now it did appear like i say in a set that was this year the inner city one two five no that's four seven four two one that's different here we go so the British Rail Intercity set, R696, the modern BR Intercity train of the 1970s typified by an imposing Class 87 locomotive and its rake of Mark II Intercity coaches in matching livery. This set is representative of the type of locomotive and rolling stock which forms the backbone of services in most of the country where the introduction of HST is no more likely than a blue moon. The joke. In the cat hub. Class 87 locomotive is also commonly seen on heavy freight trains. So you get uh, a large oval which includes a long piece of track, short piece, you've got your curves and so on. There's no sidings, you've got the uncoupler and the sides that go with it, the power clip, and you've got the three um, coaches. So you've got two Mark II intercity coaches and an intercity brake. So there you go. So that's that's the set. Okay, the 696, which comes with this one. Wow, look at that. That's actual size. Here is damn it. Yeah, actual size. There we go. So the R751 British Rail Class 37 Type 3 Coco diesel electric locomotive weighs 105 tons. Wow. Tracks of effort of 55,500 pounds, brake horsepower of 1,750. Purpose, heavy freight and passenger duties. 308 English Electric built class 37 locomotives, originally introduced as early as 1961 onto the eastern, which is where I live, and western regions of, uh, regions of BR, where they still perform a wide variety of tasks ranging from fast passenger to merry-go-round duties on coal trains between collieries and power stations. The Hornby model has been enhanced by the incorporation of the silver seal ringfield motor mounted in a new heavy chassis and runs smoothly on its traction tyres. There's the traction tyres. That's a really nice page actually. I like that page. And then the last year of it was 1979. So, uh, here we go. The R790 British Rail Intercity set. But you've got the uh, re-railer uncoupler there. Change slightly, and that's the card tunnel. So, yes, yes. Right, let's have a look through this, see if we can find the locomotive on its own. There we go. 
one of the more numerous classes on British Rail. Class 87s can be seen across the breadth of the country and are as common on passenger work as on merry-go-round carol trains. There you go. So, three years that was in the catalogue. Two years, well, there we are again. Two years with a set available. Now, I can't film with the set available because I haven't got the inner city coaches. And I'm not going to buy modern inner city coaches either. So, you're just going to have to kind of go without, I'm afraid, guys. So, how does she run? Nicely. Nice and smooth, isn't it? Now it's all chat. Wow. She's quick, isn't she? 